So what's going on everybody? Thank you so much for joining me for this video. Oh my God, it's so hot in Las Vegas right now. It is gonna be a banger this summer. And unfortunately, my girl Apple Watts is not gonna be able to join me for this summer. I'm really so bummed because I am was planning on, you know, having a lot of fun this summer. Hey, A-Rob. So I'm just kind of upset. Like, I'm kind of mad about it. I'm just kind of just like, <sighs> Anyways, you guys keep Apple in your prayers for sure, for sure. Now, I also am going to make this statement the other way, which is the flip way, which is this person just needs help. Keep Nature Boy in your prayers because he needs some mental help. Okay? I am trying to understand why it is that this person is in jail, still mind controlling people. How, why, when, where, for what? Why don't they take this man's phone? I don't understand it one bit. I don't understand it one bit. I don't understand how they know that he's, you know, they, they need to make different laws for cult leaders. They need to make different laws. If you know that somebody has the power of influence over other people to influence them to do negative stuff or to beat each other up or to um, you know, just anything. He was they with those people were at one point saying that they were willing to pass away for this man. If you know that that influence is there, why do you guys still have him on the phone? Like this is this is the part of America that I don't understand. You guys clearly can see what's going on. You clearly know that it's not healthy and their response to it is to lock him up and what? They've told you their ideology be behind Nature Boy being locked up. Which is that you can't lock his mind. What the? Would you go? Which is that you can't lock his mind up. So clearly they know that they were going to have to be the bodily vessel, the physical vessel for him at one point or another. This is not something that these people did not know. So instead of him now using his own body to do certain deeds, he's he has several other bodies that he can use to carry out what it is that he wants to be carried out and i just can't understand how you know they they ooh, i ran a red light i just can't understand how they they didn't put that together and and make sure that this went a certain way you know like for me you know sometimes men are more logical than women and that's just is what it is right but like i do see true and um Sheba and um Solar and Loyal they clearly come to at least some of their senses you know true uh not true Solar he's trying to act like he's half in and half out about this nature boy situation and it's like boy if you don't keep it 100 and keep it real if you don't keep it in 100 and keep it real and and just say flout you're not with it anymore you know, he puts up little posts like, I was not myself. You know what I'm saying? But then, but then he also puts up little posts like, he also puts up little posts like, um, my master three God, this, that, and the other. Why would they, in the world, would you be talking about slavery? And then how you don't want to be a slave or answer to the white man and be calling a black man your master. What is the difference? What is the difference in that? There is no difference. It, you a slave either way. So I'm trying to figure out why is it that they still have this man's phones on? Why he's allowed on the phone, I should say. Why is it that it's okay for him to continue to influence these people, you know, outside of him being in their presence. I just feel like that is really bad. That's not okay by any means necessary. Guys, give me one second. Let me text my child. But see, it also goes to show that they don't really care about the people that's involved. They don't care about not having those type of activities going on, you know, because they're trying to protect these people. They just want to make an arrest. They just want to make an arrest. They just want to say, oh, we've got this cult leader and we're in, you know, we're in um, 
this newspaper, we're the people that arrested this guy. And I don't think that that's okay by any means necessary. Who is that grown man? That's Mr. Moisa's security guard. Oh. He got a girlfriend? No. <laughs> Let's go. I'm so sorry. I'm only used to picking up Nani. I'm so sorry. My bad. I'm sorry. Ciao. I was running with the Don't car. tell anyone about that. So, so anyways, you know, imagine if they don't imagine it being their daughters, you know. And guess what I found out? Y'all know that white officer that kept coming to the door like almost every day. And he kept saying, so what are you guys doing in here? And he was trying to be cool with Nature Boy. And he was like, so you on line right now? That was that white boy's brother that was in the house that was being a mole. Boy, you could have. That was that white boy's brother. That was the brother of. Why you take a picture of that car? Take a picture of you. That was the, the brother of the person that joined the um, tribe, the cult that was Caucasian and I didn't know that so they were looking out for their own but when it comes to looking out for these people you know they're not doing everything that they can and maybe and perhaps you know I'm not putting it past them that maybe and perhaps you know they feel like well these fools want to be there anyway you know there's nothing we can do because they're adults they want to be there and so you know we're limited on what we can do and, and that could be a thing. But all I'm saying is do everything that you can do. It's very clear and obvious that the only people that's really sticking around is the people that Nature Boy was sticking it to. With the exception of Solar. Because Solar was clearly his little girlfriend. But all I'm saying is that they're, I don't feel like they're doing everything that they could be doing to ensure that these people, you know, go back home. It's sad to see this man is not even in attendance. He's not even there anymore. And here goes Malia talking about and 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 and, and you know, you know, three God, you know, um, um, um uh shut Malia, shut up. What makes you think that you are in any position to tell grown ass women who are raising their children, who are fighting for their children, who are paying their own bills and not chasing behind men? who to serve and what to do what makes you think that that man didn't tell you a story oh I'm the I'm the second coming of Christ no second comings of Christ third comings or fourth comings have ever behaved that way they never had nobody slapping each other you know whipping out his penis all on the, in, the, in the, the camera doing it to people on Twitter what, what the hell what is wrong with these people that's how you think God behaves something is wrong with you and it pees me off that their family have not filed some type of uh, adult power of attorney, mental, mandatory check-in. You know what I'm saying? There's options there. There's options for adults that are not in their right minds. Go file at the court. There's an option to file like a mental, mandatory, mental evaluation. It needs to be done because clearly these people are out of their effing mind. You know what I'm saying? Who is the more disgusting one? Ace, true, whatever you want to call them. Exactly. They family don't care. If you you write rare diamond. That's exactly why they there. True. Dang it, y'all, my phone. I'm going to have to hold my phone like this. I know how to get this baby. True is the more disgusting one because true has a child there. And that man said, I just watched the video, okay? Of these women sucking nature boys toes they were fully when I say they was giving it up on the foot tip they was giving up my I'm like ew ew if a man stick his toes in my mouth I'm gonna bite it off and spill it in his face are you kidding me that ain't the type of intimacy I want to do and mind you he don't do no more he don't do nothing back to them Malia, yeah. Other than that, no. He don't do no intimate stuff back to them women. Unless it's for the camera. You feel what I'm saying? So, it just gets to the point where it's just like, what are we really doing here? What are we really doing here? And obviously, those girls, 
and I hate to say this, but this is a thing, and you should be talking to your children about sex at a young age for this reason. This is why your children should know these things. Obviously, those girls are digmatized, clearly. There's no other excuse or reason for that. You have missed their parents, their siblings, their people have missed the mark. Greatly missed the mark. Whoever is still there is digmatized. True said that he raised his son to serve nature boy. I truly believe that him and Sheba got some freaking things going on with nature boy that we don't know. It's my true belief. Young man, if you don't get up out my way. Okay, so all I'm saying is we have to teach our children about these types of things at a young age. You know, you can feel emotionally attached to somebody that's not emotionally attached to you um, through, you know, through being intimate with that person. We're going to the store. <laughs> She's sitting there like, yeah, so when we... <laughs> She'll be back out there. You're welcome, baby. You know what I'm saying? Why did you wear those to school? I don't care. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, but they're dirty now, Rihanna. I can clean them. So this is what I'm saying. And I'm telling you, when I tell you I talk to my daughter, I talk to my daughter about a lot of things because it's necessary out here. These kids are out here at young ages having kids and not wanting them kids. If you don't want a child, instead of having a child and leaving a child, you know, to, to despair, simply don't have it. There are ways to protect yourself. There are ways to go about, you know, being intimate and not getting pregnant. And uh, they want him to continue to incriminate himself. He talks too much. That's true. I think that one thing that he don't realize is that by him being, yeah, talk to Natiri, la, 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 la. I think that um, that it, it does build evidence for them. You're right. But that's what I'm saying. It's like, okay, build evidence for your case or protect these people. You know what I'm saying? So, and like I said, they don't care. They just want to make sure that they file a case. They want to make sure that they take him, you know, they want to make sure that they're the ones that take him down. And I don't, guess what? I'm happy about that. I'm just unhappy about the part where he still has influence enough over these foolish ass women to make them sit up and be homeless. Those girls are homeless, stand with it from pillar to post, going, they're homeless at night, sleeping in the daytime in somebody's house, still not working, still don't have a vehicle, still don't have a license, still ain't trying to get in no parenting class, still not getting these stuff together because they still run available for them. He's not available for you. Right. They don't care. I feel, and like I said, I feel like at one point they tried to care, but then they, they showed the police that they're still, you know, brainwashed. And so the police just pretty much gave up. Hey, Susan. But I mean, it's a mess. I, it's really a mess. I feel really, really bad. I was looking at a video of Malia the other day. And again, guys, these bracelets will be available on my website probably as soon as tonight or tomorrow. I will be finishing up the website tonight. I'm going to be on T-Hot Movie Night as soon as I um, get back home. I'm going to be doing dropping an edited video off on T-Hot Music Squad, and then I'll be live on T-Hot Movie Night about five different times, okay, for today. So anyway, you know, it really disturbs me. I was looking at a video of Malia and how she looked with her hair and you know with what they call her antenna but he make them cut it off mind you it's the hypocrisy for me okay um she looked beautiful with her hair she looked healthy you know she looked like her you know plumper version of herself i mean it was just such a different you could tell she was living such a different life and to see her now you know is it's really sad and i couldn't imagine it getting myself so sucked up in something so unorthodox and so crazy and you know just so harmful that i don't realize that there's a there's there isn't a a, a, a iota of me that doesn't realize can i be brainwashed they don't, these people don't ask themselves that at all yeah yep they did you know they don't ask themselves that at all you know is it a chance that i'm brainwashed 
Is Poppy brainwashing me? They don't ask themselves that at all. And I think that that is the most, they, I mean, these are the most non-intellect having ass females that I've ever seen. It's a, it's a true disappointment that they would, ugh, that they would choose to go backwards like that in time to where they feel like they're fighting slavery. Like they need to uh, fight every white person and stand up against every white person. And, and that's not the life that they're living in. Those white men were concerned about them at one point and their well-being you know what i'm saying at one point till they spit in a face you know what i'm saying and and there's several people that are not black that are concerned about you know these people um you know but the fact that they feel like my ancestors this you are not your ancestor i'm sorry and i respect that i respect it and i understand but you are not your ancestor your ancestors fought for a reason so you wouldn't have to do this. And you're still doing it? What? There's a different way to fight these people. It's not, and it's not physical. And it's not making them bow down to one person out of your little stupid looking crew. You know what I'm saying? It's, that's not it. And it's not, you know, it's not you getting slapped upside your head and practicing military moves for no good reason somebody said the other day what were these people ever actually doing nothing let me answer that for you not one damn thing kissing one man's ass because he got mind control over depot that's what they were doing they were never actually doing anything there's no reason for them to be like up down up down like what what are you what what, what, are, what are you practicing that for are you kidding me? You know what I'm saying? And then didn't even march during Black Lives Matter, but you're doing all of that? Sit your, if you don't sit your ass down somewhere. True trying to pick up women though, talking about what's in your fridge. Right, I'm sure. And I hope he's stumbling fell. I'm sure he is. Like there was no reason for that at all. I mean, the whole thing was just so unnecessary. It's really disturbing to watch it. And I do believe that the police did try to do something about it. But I think they spit in those people's face. And after a while, it's like, okay, well then, F you. It's like you saying F me, but like after a while, it's like, okay, F you back. You know what I'm saying? Like... Hmm. So, I don't know, it's just, it's just very disturbing. Like, it's just very, very disturbing. I'm trying to stop myself from going to Walmart, but, dang it, maybe? Nope. So, anyways, but they gonna figure it out one day. You don't leave your kids behind for a man. That's ridiculous. Those children are also going to become women and men. And I don't know what part of them doesn't see that. The only reason why he's okay with them leaving his ch their children behind is because he himself was left behind. But he's not okay with leaving his children behind. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, prices are very high. That's why I'm going to Walmart. He's okay with their children experiencing being lost like him and feeling lost like him but he's not okay with his children feeling lost like him he just doesn't have an option because he's a nut basket what this is the thing sometimes sometimes when god is trying to show you something you have to pay attention in order to get the message you know if god is constantly putting you in jail and I can say this from experience for those of you who have been following me throughout the years you've seen me go through a whole case a fight a three-year case on this channel um, I've done uh, this this used to be my personal channel before Tox talks so you guys have seen me do a lot on this channel and let me just tell you this when God shows you signs like look you need to change you need to change your life change what you're saying change what you're doing Stop doing what you're doing. 
he, you know, he had actually started doing mushrooms. Do you guys know he started doing uh, mushrooms and he started getting mania from the mushrooms? And during his bouts of mania, you know, we've always, we've, we've all been there. He didn't want to say to himself, hmm, maybe I need to slow down on all of this. You know what I'm saying? All these mushrooms and drugs and stuff. He said on um, one of his last videos, he was on a Zoom video. And he said, um, he had, he said that the moon looked different to him. He wanted to have sex where the moon was. So they were outside. Fufu had given him head. And every time I think about that, because she swallowed it. And every time I think about that, it makes me nauseous. So you guys have to excuse me. Because I truly believe that he is so disgusting. Like, honestly. So, um, every time I, oh. Ooh, sorry, y'all. Oh, I keep bitching it in my fucking head. Ooh, that is so nasty, child. Anyways. Oh, God. I be having to get myself together every time I think about it. Ridiculous. So, Fufu had, was the one giving them head. All the girls were sitting around and Fufu was giving them head. And y'all know they have neighbors over there. There's, those neighbors had upstairs, downstairs, just like they did. Those neighbors... Hello? What the hell? You're not looking for the pedestrian at all. I didn't hit you. I hit your vehicle. Yeah, bullshit your dumb ass. He gonna almost run me over and then say hit my vehicle again. And what the fuck are you gonna do? You almost ran me over. The fuck? Anyway. So like I was saying, so Fufu was the one doing the service that night while everybody else was standing around him. And they have upstairs, downstairs neighbors. And over, hello. But I think those neighbors were shocked and appalled. Like, you know, like, I'm sorry, but you don't just be loud and rowdy around your neighbors. Like, I literally wait till I come out the house. You just don't do that. You just don't do that. He had no, I don't even, I forgot my dang on point. All I'm saying, what I am saying is this, is that he clearly was suffering from mania and did absolutely nothing to, to, to get it together. Like, you know what I'm saying? He clearly was suffering from something that was an ailment, you know, and he's sitting up doing drugs and <clears throat> all of the stuff that he was doing. And it's like, why would you continue to sit up doing drugs when you clearly you're suffering from mania and you don't ask yourself at all, am I suffering from, am I too high off these things that I'm making these people? He didn't ask none of that. They just simply just didn't give a damn. They just simply didn't give a damn. That's all. There's no questioning yourself. You're not self the issue right now. So I'm doing right now. Why is this thing right now? That was the most disturbing part of it all. So, it really is. It's just so gross. Honestly, like, ugh. When I think about him, I just get, I, I promise you, every time I think about that, I get nauseous. Every time. So, anyways, you guys just make sure you protect your daughters from people like him. Because clearly, those families have. And we felt like, okay, you know, this is something that's good for you know, for the people, be healthy, and it's something we can get behind. And it just ended up so jacked up. I just don't really know how it got there, to be honest. Okay. Sorry, y'all. Uh, hold on a second. Thank you. I'm going to need to show you my ID for this whole thing. Thank 
strawberries. All right. <laughs> Get my shop on while we talk. What'd you say? I really wish the women well. I really wish the women well, but unfortunately, nobody can help if they're not willing to open their eyes to the truth. That's a fact. That's a fact. Did you see Truth trying to pick up women, girl? True need to stop because I, I don't care how pretty his eyes are. That nose throws it all off. That nose is horrible. He do have some beautiful eyes. I ain't gonna lie about that. Them, I, cause I, you know, I dated men with colored eyes for from damn sixth grade all the way to last year. But hell to the no. Cause true is an absolute no for me. Ain't no way in hell. I hope the ladies go get some help and go back to their children. That's a fact. I don't think their I don't think their families what their families will accept them to go back. I don't either. Would you? Would you? Like, honestly, I had my own situation where someone sat online and made up stories about me um, and, and even had other people come online and make up stories about me. And it's just like, oh, I went through self-checkout and I left my receipt right there. Thank you. So, you know, like, um, I, I, like I said, I had somebody go live about me and then have somebody come after, after she did it and come live making up stories to the point where my other children, to the point where my children were upset. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And, and, you know, I don't have no little kids. All my kids are big kids. So, you know, they would know, oh no, where the heck did I park? Oh no, I don't have a clue where I parked. Oh no. So, I hear it somewhere. So, I could, I, I know how it feels to be upset about somebody making up lies about you. You know what I'm saying? And one of the things that we know is that Aya's sister got on there crying. Her mom had gotten on there crying with Pharaoh, young Pharaoh, and was like, you know, why are you saying that stuff that you're saying about our family? And why would you want to make us look like that? And, you know, why are you, you know, choosing this route? Because let me tell you something. Let me just be normal right quick. There was nothing wrong with... Ooh. Okay, it is hot. Hold that. That burnt me. Ooh. I hate when it gets so hot in Vegas that everything you touch burn. Your car, your clothes, everything hot. Um, there was nothing wrong with them. What is this? Hold on. I'm, I'm not going to be... Those are mangoes. So... But they were, there was nothing wrong with them being with him, but still being with their families. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with you being with a man and, and picking up his beliefs because I turned into a Muslim for her father. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with you being with a man, picking up his beliefs, and still respecting and maintaining a normal relationship with your family. The problem is that that wasn't allowed that's the problem. Which part you screen record? <laughs> Angela. Which part did you screen record? Um, but yeah, the fact that the fact that they couldn't maintain normal relationships with their family, when you have people like um, you have people like Fufu's mother. Fufu and her mother ain't got nothing going on. Fufu was a well-raised child who was in college, 
who left college to be with Nature Boy. By the way, everybody has something wrong with their parents at one point or another. Everybody is going to argue with either one or both of their parents at one point or another. So even if Fufu did argue with her mom, what was the problem in maintaining a normal relationship once you got with Nature Boy? That's the effing question. You understand what I'm saying? That's the question. And so that's where the problem comes in at. This is where we have an issue at. What is the problem, ma'am, sir? Okay? Now we understand True, True molested his two sisters. He admitted it, then he turned around and unadmitted it. Because he said he know his son. Oh yeah, exactly, rare. Yeah, polite talk to everybody. True unadmitted it. After he admitted it, he said he know himself and he know he wouldn't have done nothing like that even if he was drunk. Even though his sisters clearly have been affected and it clearly affected his family dynamic to the point where he couldn't go back. True has nowhere to go. You know what I'm saying? And 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 that's the reason why you see him talking about he's raising his son to praise nature boy. Your son is going to grow up and hate you. You're, and that's okay too because that happens too sometimes. But just know it's a coming. It's coming. Just know. When you keep kids in a militant way of being, trust me, I'm telling you from experience, when you come home, do your homework, do the da 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 and it's very militant, now you're going to this sport. Now you're in boxing. Now you're da 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 We have to do, we have to do this, we have to do. Them kids grow up to hate you. I know from experience, trust me. Trust me. They start saying you abusing them, you abused them, you was too strict on them, all kinds of shit. They don't like that. You know what I'm saying? And whether or not I learned from experience, from, you know, from my shit, and, and this is their first child. They're going to have to learn from experience that that child is going to grow up to resent the hell out of them people. But all in all, what I'm saying, because I got to go, and I got more to say, but I'm going to come back on it because I got to start doing my, um, doing my marriage boot camp reviews right now. I don't have a long time to talk about this. But all in all, I feel sorry for them, and I hope that they take that phone from Nature Boy. If he do go to prison, he's just going to have another phone. And it's sad. They need to do what they need to do to disband them people. They all have committed crimes on camera. What is the problem? Lock come up. Sometimes it's for the greater good. Just saying. All right. Thank y'all for joining me. Leave comments. Peace and love.